Today you will learn what a compiler does. In case you haven't already, subscribe now so you won't miss any more short informative tech videos like this one. Let's go. You all have heard before that the computer program only consists of zeros and ones. This is called a binary program. When you are programming, your source code is normally written in a higher programming language, like the print statement displayed here. This code needs to be translated into a machine-readable format. So binary language code, and this is where the compiler comes into the game. It translates our source code into machine-readable code, also referred to as object code or target language. But how does a compiler work? Well, first you have to know that the compiling process is divided into two phases. An analysis phase, also referred to as the front-end, and a synthesis phase, also referred to as the back-end. The former one is used to create an intermediate representation of our source code. The code is checked with regard to grammar, semantic, and syntax. In the latter one, the intermediate code is optimized and the machine-readable code is generated. Let's look at the steps in more detail. We will take the simple expression displayed here as an example. Compiling starts with a lexical analyzer. It scans the code as a stream of characters and groups the sequence of characters into lexemes. It would detect our terms a, x, and y as identifiers the equal, plus, and multiplication sign as operators, and the 20 as an integer. Then, it outputs a sequence of tokens with reference to the programming language. Afterwards, a syntax analyzer is used. The tokens that were generated in the previous stage are now checked against grammar rules of our programming language. So it checks if the expressions are syntactically valid. To do so, it generates a parse tree, as displayed here. This is also called Syntax Directed Translation, or STD for short. Following the Syntax Analyzer, a Semantic Analyzer is used. Given our pass through from the previous stage, the Semantic Analyzer verifies if the expressions and statements generated follow the rule of the programming language. It creates annotated pass trees. Next, the Intermediate Code Generator comes into play. Our modified pass tree will serve as an input. It is converted into an Intermediate Code. In most cases, this will be a three address code, also called TAC. So simple put, it separates our expression into different subsets of the expression as displayed here. Next, a code optimizer is used to improve time and space requirements of the program. Our TAC will serve as an input here. The code optimizer outputs optimized code. So it eliminates redundant code which is present in a program, as you can see here. In our final phase of the compiling process, a code generator is utilized. The optimized code is taken as an input, which is then converted into machine-readable target code. What you see here in the lower right corner is assembly code, which is easily understandable by the processor. Now you should have a pretty good idea what the compiler is about. Stay tuned, because next week we are going to look at an interpreter, which is another way to make code machine-readable. Thank you for watching this video till the end. If you like this content, please subscribe to my channel to not miss any more videos. See you next week.